G'day, I'm Adam. And I'm Tara. And we're travelling around Australia on the big lap with our dog Reef. Last time we left you in Murray Bridge, this week we head on through making our way closer to the Vic border. We made a quick pit stop to check out some silo art on the way to our first campsite. As someone with an unusual name, I got so excited to see this on the board. Even the same spelling. And there's a reef and Blake, which is Adam's brother. I feel like uh, scrubbing this guy's name out and putting my name just so I can be part of the family. <laughs> reef, we're famous! Yeah! Just... I'm not. <laughs> Ready to go to the next place, Reef? We'll go check out a lake. What is the next place called, Kira? Uh, lake something with an eye. Uh, Tintintara. What? Lake with an eye? It starts with an eye. I'll look up how you say the name of the lake. Good old Wiki Cam's taking a million years to learn as usual. So where are we? Oh, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Mm. And we're going to keep heading down to and it's Lake Indawara. Think about having a shower, are you, mate? Better, better than the last place we Why? Because the show was like here. Oh, made for short people. You're telling me how good a husband I am, allowing you to set allow. this, allowing okay. you to set this up a day before the 1st of December. After decorating the Christmas tree, Adam called me out to check out a croc. See the croc out here? Oh, there. <laughs> All right, moving on from that comedy gold. This place was a donation camp and it was a great spot for an overnighter. Insert lobster joke here. <laughs> Don't think of anything. <laughs> It's so shiny. Next to Larry the Lobster, there's a great cafe where we popped in for some lunch. I had a look through the craft and homewares, of course the book stand, and Adam was trying to fix the fridge that keeps playing up on us. Still not working? Fuse is probably going again. Huh. Stay, Stay, puppy. He's trying to do a big jump. To road. Woohoo! Just gonna check into the caravan park. Looks nice and green. Yeah, it looks awesome. Let's see what sort of spot we get. Yeah. I think they've got like a whole pet area now. Lump all the dogs together so that'll be us. Our dogs. <laughs> It's nice. I'm glad I picked this one. Rather than sardine can. Oh, jumping pillow. Where's the office? Fun jumping pillow, but you don't want to be camped next to it. So we're all parked up. 
And I'm just setting up the chairs out the back. Still working. Mm -hmm. Kira's knocked off. I've done my job. Yeah. Got us here. Open the windows and book the site. <laughs> and the travel plan. Yeah. Anyway, look how lush and green it is. And there's a walking track to the beach. Big caravan park. It's really spaced out. Lots of trees, and lots of green area. No neighbours outside yet. And lots of space down there. Oh, look at all the vintage cars there. If you have a drone, this place is a playground with its incredible beaches and the foreshore. There are plenty of cafes and restaurants and I highly recommend trying the ice cream shop. With heaps of flavours, everyone's sure to find a winner. And being such a pet friendly town, it made the stay that much more enjoyable. Good morning everyone. We're still in beautiful Robe. We've just popped down to the famous Long Beach. Doing a quick walk down just to check how soft the sand is to see if we need to bother doing the tires or not. And uh, yeah, looking pretty cute today. Dogs are okay as long as we're on leash. Go. So it looks pretty solid down here. I wouldn't be surprised if you got a two wheel drive. So Adam's gonna go fetch the car and come pick us up. Look at the beautiful blue water. Does this not remind you of like Bramo Bay and Esperance? Oh my goodness. Robe. <laughs> Definitely like Esperance water. <laughs> icy, icy cold. I don't know why there was only like one person out. Oh, God, it's cold. Grief, you crazy cat. Oh, oh, you'd be numb. Oh, you can still see the, like, the obelisk over yeah. there in the yeah. distance. Yeah. The jetty and that. Wowza. It is old. But if you had a hot summer day, this would be the perfect place. Just bring the rig down, get the awning out. Barbecue. <laughs> it's 
Phoenix Flights happening. It's all here in Rome, guys. Come on, Limpala. I can't see you. I told Rose that I'm running for my ankle. Alright, numbed it. I can't feel it. <laughs> yeah. And then back to the caravan park. Get some lunch organised, do some laundry. Good times. Okay. Nap, yep, siesta after a beach day. It's a hard one. It's a hard one. <laughs> Not bad for a Monday. Ah, uh, Reed. <laughs> we just washed you in there, now you're all dirty again. <laughs> oh man. Taste test. Very nice. These nuggets are bugging a rug grief. We secured the bag. <laughs> here. Fish and chips down at Rome. About three times the size of Esperance chips. Holy. Wow. And half the price. Oh my goodness. Let's hope it tastes as good as it looks. And I don't get why. In South Australia, all the chips, no matter where we go, are yellow. I don't know where they get it from. They taste good. I reckon we have one as another pass with the soy chips on it. <laughs> it's like flurry. Anyway, dig it. So every morning Reef and I get up and go for a walk before um, Adam wakes up and we do breakfast. And this morning we found there was a little secret path behind our campsite. Um, the tree had fallen down but once you climb over the tree it's an easy track right down to this lake and it's like a mirror, it's so flat. For reef. <laughs> Flash. <laughs> yeah, I can't jump like he can jump. <laughs> I'll just walk quickly. Parkour, parkour. This is parkour. Internet sensation in 2004. It's pretty impressive. The goal is to get from point A to point B as creatively as possible. Same, same, but different. <laughs> Hi. We are at the Robe Jail Ruins this morning, so we're going to check it out and have a look. I'm still limping. Yeah, this is the exercise yard <laughs> for rehab. <laughs> this is, we'll just chuck Reef in here for daycare. <gasps> Who's the king of the castle? He's the rat bag. Who's up there? like the size of our caravan. Where she belongs.
Hey, if there's any death out in here. Earth closet, that's like where they put um, yeah. stuff that has to be cold. It's like their fridge to be under there. There was no way we could visit Rome without visiting the iconic obelisk. What is it? Oh. They've blocked off the edge of the cliff because um, I think people fall overhanging. Still looks cool though, and there's plenty of other sections on the coastal walk that you can get good shots. We both feel like Rogue is one of the most photogenic coastal towns that we have stayed at so far on the lap. We could have easily paused the lap here and stayed for a few months, or a bit more, with all the stunning beach walk trails and lookouts. Driving back through town, we stopped in to check out a couple of blokes and a cannon. This memorial overlooks the Chinese arch, which actually symbolises when over 16,000 Chinese arrived in town, heading through to the gold rush. Beautiful day to go see a lookout. Yeah, beautiful town, beautiful spot. Yeah. Beautiful beaches. Stunning. We love Rome. Yeah. Definitely on the top now <laughs> of the list, I think. Yep. But yeah, we're at Beacon Hill. Come check it out. <laughs> Are you filming or playing it? It's a video. <laughs> We'll see you next time when we're exploring around and about. Thanks for watching, guys.